What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this is a video about the new NVK update. If you don't know what that is, that is a Mesa built Vulcan driver that is for your NVIDIA cards if you don't want to use the official NVIDIA proprietary driver. Now, here's the thing. I have gotten this to run a ton of games. I actually have uh, a tips and tricks, a Linux tips and tricks thread in here about NVK. And just to remind everybody what I could run, I guess we'll sort of just jump into that real quick and I'll, I'll end up showing that off here real quick, okay? I'm gonna put that over the screen. And uh, so I got The Witcher 3 to run, okay? And I believe, oh, there's Metro Exodus. That was running at really good performance the first time and then the second time it wouldn't run at all, so it was pretty weird. I also got Death Stranding to run. Yeah, so that's that lot, and then I ended up getting Dead Island 2 to run, and of course, here it is, Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition. I also recently tested it and managed to get a lot of other games running. Um, God of War Ragnarok runs, so that's pretty cool. Now, going back to what this update is about, pretty much they've gotten more games to run, uh they're using they're basically gsp using from scratch they're improving a lot of other things like api support and more they're going all in on this and it seems to be a really good effort so far so let's try to go over this the nvk driver is vulcan 1.3 conformant many more uh Many more Vulkan extensions have been added over the past year, and the Zinc OpenGL on Vulkan driver is also working on top of uh, NVK. It has some issues, but yes, it indeed does work. Many games are running, which is true. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn does work. Cyberpunk does work. Forgot about that. I don't know what the hell X Foundations is or Transport Fever 2, but Rust does work, of course. And then you got many others. And uh, there's not much here, to be honest. Like, this is not a very well-written article. But there are PDF slides that we could definitely take a look at. Maybe they'll provide us with uh, more information. Like, if you're going to write your article, at least go all out, right? And about me, there's the about for the people. Pause if you want to take a look at that. And I want to make sure that I'm not in the way of us doing this. And I think I may have smushed myself. Okay, so Nove kernel, that's what I'm going to call it. I know what that means. Uh, mostly bugs fixes this year. GSP firmware support is merged. GSP firmware is now shipping in the Linux firmware and distros, which is true. Not all of them, of course. Ubuntu and others, you know, they have issues. Red Hat, uh, Red Hat announced Nova. And uh, the Nova project is about a bunch of other things. So... Uh, a Rust-based GSP-only driver for NVIDIA GPUs, uh, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, I mean, honestly, if it provides us with CUDA and everything we're used to, us NVIDIA users, I mean, it might actually end up being really, really good. All right, what is Nova? From scratch, NVIDIA kernel driver. Written in Rust, sharing some Rust, uh, you know what, with a Shazi and... Also adding new Rust abstractions, GPS only, so Turin Plus, still very in early development stages. Since XDC 2023, whoever made these slides is kind of a dick. Come on now. Uh, again, it has Vulcan 1.3, which is great. And I don't know why it cut off of here, but software in public interest, yada, 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 it shows... Why are you using that kernel of all things? Ah, yeah. Last year I submitted Vulcan.10 compares. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so as you can see, they've implemented a lot of things. See? Why wasn't this shown in the article? Look at all the stuff that they've implemented. This is kind of crazy when you really think about it. Uh, that's probably more work than an entire driver gets in a year. Uh, including everything needed by DXBK. Wow. So they closed out that, which is nice. That's feature 11, uh, that's feature set 11, which is great. Everything 
Zinc needs for OpenGL 4.6. So they close that out. And by the way, this driver is in very good condition uh, as my previous, as my current test that I did ended up showing me it runs very well. I just can't make a video on it because I don't have another PC to do capturing from. And they've also included most of what VKD3D wants and, you know, uh, fragment shading, right? Uh, fragment shader interlock, mesh shaders, ray tracing. Again, they're still missing a few things. So new compiler support for Maxwell Plus. As you can see, use a NAC on Maxwell Plus. I don't know what NAC is, but it seems very cool and it allows, I guess, for more GPUs to use this. And lots of games work now. Uh, it doesn't show any FPS in this, which is kind of not encouraging. And uh, there is Cyberpunk working at 20 FPS. Mock all you want about the performance, but you need to understand this is a driver from the ground up. So this is going to be a very long road for them. It's not going to be like, oh, it's six months. They're going to be the fastest in the world. No, it's not going to be like that at all. They're going to need time to evolve, to change, and to truly... I guess blend into their own environment and try to figure out how to get the performance like the best performance possible out of the driver but the fact that it's running cyberpunk at all is a huge achievement and of course this is what x foundations for so this is what this is it's what another space game 26 fps on a 2080 and using 24.3 so this was kind of recent and what the hell is this? Transport Fever 2. 62 FPS. Nice. See? Uh, as you saw, Metro Exodus was doing 97 FPS, and that was maxed out, by the way. I didn't turn anything down. 74 FPS in Rust, which is pretty good. Look at that. It's the least heaviest part of the entire map, but all right. If you know where this area is, it's basically staring out into the ocean. Anything beyond this will not need to render. So you're not really rendering most of over here because the real rendering stops at around here. This is just backwards billboards and stuff. So you're only rendering about this far. There's nothing else. So you're not really, it's not doing much. And yeah, no. What is this? Deep, col deep rock galactic. Look at that. 68 FPS. Nice, but it doesn't tell me the settings. What is this? Uh, Return to Monkey Island. Isn't this like a 2D slash 3D or something game? And The Witness? Man, you know what this looks like? This looks like another Unity title, honestly. This just looks like um, Firewatch. I love Firewatch. What is this running on? DXVK. Cool. And then we have Evil Genius 2. Uh, it's handling the depth of field better than I thought it would. It's kind of, depth of field is kind of a heavy type of shader when it comes to things because it has the blur pixels and yeah. Ah, uh, what is this? This is Super Tux Car. All right, Zinc. NVK plus Zinc is now OpenGL 4.6 conformant, which is great. Again, Turing only, but still. Uh, X11 with X Wayland. Wayland. Use Wayland. Stop using X11. Let it die. It's time. It needs to go into the afterlife. It's like 40 some years old. Please, stop it. You're hurting only yourself. Moving on. Important NVK features for Zinc. Okay, so DRM format modifiers. I remember testing this pull request right here. Let Zinc use the better display path. NVK plus Zinc can run your compositor. True story. It ran muttered like a freaking gold mine once I got to figured out how to actually install these types of things. So it was really, really great. Uh, shader objects and pipeline libraries. Let's zinc avoid stutter. That was also a big one. And descriptive buffer. Let's zinc use its descriptor fast paths. Fast paths are very, very important. Fast paths are the bread and butter because without them, you, you don't get your best performance. And it's also multi-draw. Yeah. So... Think of it this way, um, you, you got your 165 hertz displays, they're running at max uh, resolution, your entire desktop environment is smooth. We're talking about smoother than with an AMD card. 
I, because you have that raw performance power from Nvidia, but with Mesa, and it's just so good. I even ran Raging games with it, and they were running as fast or faster than with the proprietary driver. It's really cool. Is Zinc ready to be the primary OpenGL driver? No, no, there are corruption issues with images and stuff. Say you hover over and you get a tooltip, sometimes it can be corrupted. It's a problem. Uh, and the VK plus Discord client and Chromium. There's the slowly artifacting. Okay. Yeah, so it's basically an electron slash CEF issue. Anything that has to deal with Chromium, it artifacts. And it sucks that it does this. But it's an open issue. It was created four months ago. It looks like they're working on it. I can honestly confirm that this happens. I've taken pictures of it. People were so confused. They're like, what are you doing? And I wonder if I still have a picture of it. I remember I did not take a picture with my phone. I took a picture with, um, I believe it's on my computer right now. I'm going to try to find it for you guys. Okay, so I do take pictures of everything. This was with NVK, and as you can see, we're running God of War Ragnarok, and it looks almost perfect. There's something going on with the shaders and stuff, so it's 1 FPS the whole time. Even after it was done fully compiling, it was still 1 FPS. Well, I couldn't find the damn thing, and I guess that's fine. Uh, so this is an issue that I've had, and it's kind of an annoying one. And uh, I guess there's the other issues that you can run into pretty easily. And I don't know which desktop environment that is, but I like the monitor. And uh, that's that's the keyboard that I was considering getting. That is my mouse. And, that, and uh, isn't that... I don't know what kind of controller that is. I think that's a, that's a PS4 controller by the looks of it. Is Zinc ready to be the primary open driver? Red Hat is going to try with Fedora 41. Really? Is it? Ah, and that's the end of it. Anyway, guys, if you found this informative, let me know if you're excited for NVK. Let me know if you're excited for Nova, which will be another driver thing. Let me know, and I will see you guys in another video. I figured I'd give you a bonus video today. I know the, the one I released earlier was probably, I don't know, open bar is a bit complicated, you know? It really takes a lot of effort to, uh, to, to make it work. And I finally figured out where my groove is and I'm excited about that. And hopefully you found yours. If you did jump into my discord, I have a Linux theming channel and post what your setup looks like with open bar or any other desktop environment. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.